by my window on Christmas morning And watch the snow falling down by the fire get warming I guess somewhere along the way things changed And I wondered if I'd ever feel the same Until there was you two days to open, but we're just going to start with day five. Look! I think it has two treats in it. Sit, sit, sit. Good girl. Hello, hello. It is now dark as we are using a ring light to get some brightness in this video. You can see in my mirror. I shouldn't have to point that out. That's a YouTuber error, but it's in the mirror. I don't care at this point. I'm gonna grab my earrings for those in just a minute. I'm going to 2023 trivia night at a local like plant shop, coffee bar, actual bar. It's called Greenhouse, it's really cool. Anyway, I'm wearing this with a pair of jeans. It looks really, you don't have to trust me, it looks good because apparently I'm not showing the whole outfit. <laughs> Let's focus. Um, anyway, I'm super excited. It's gonna be loads of fun. I, I don't know if I'm gonna win. But I do work in TV news, so I know loads of trivia about the news that happened in 2023. And this year was a wild year for the news. There's so much pop culture to discuss. Anyway, we're gonna see how how I do. I'm very excited. I invited like seven different people and nobody could come, which is a little bit sad, but that's okay. I'm just gonna rock it solo and I'm gonna have a good time. I don't know if it's gonna divide people into teams or if it's like one on one person. Maybe I'll be my own team. That would be, that might, that feels weird to say, like you're your own team, like just you. So we'll find out. I'm gonna show up. It starts at seven and it's almost seven, so I gotta get out the door. But I, I'm excited. I think it's gonna be a fun, fantastic time. My ring light just died. That's what I get for using the battery operated one instead of the one that plugs into the wall. I think I keep deciding in the middle of each day that it's gonna be a two day vlogmas instead of just a one day because I didn't realize how bad I've gotten lately at vlogging, but we're not gonna talk down. We're going to appreciate the skills that we have. I'm gonna do a little get ready with me. As you can see, the sun is setting, not rising, because my room faces northwest. And it's almost the end of the day, but I haven't seen my boyfriend in three weeks. And <laughs> he was on a business trip and a vacation and a business trip and a trip. I don't know what to say. Um, that's, <laughs> that's his business to Mexico for three weeks and I haven't seen him so I want to go to a Christmas tree lighting but he also was like hey I haven't seen you in three weeks why don't we like, stay home and make dinner so I don't know what we'll end up doing I'm a big fan of doing something I like to go do things when I am dating him and he is more of a stay at home body I wish I've realized after we started dating when he when I'm always like oh let's go do this let's go that that and he's like don't you just want to make dinner which <laughs> a lot of people are like don't date someone who doesn't take you out he does take me out i want to clarify that but on our like casual he's not really going out in the middle of the week kind of guy and and sometimes we have different expectations when i'm like oh let's meet up i assume we're gonna go do something and he's like are we <laughs> anyway i i've just had to learn that it's okay to sit at home with someone and not have something to do with my adhd that's a really big struggle if i'm not doing something i get really 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 restless Anyway, I've enjoyed dating though. It's been, dating this person has been absolutely wonderful. I really do like them loads. <laughs> um, but I want to tell this funny story while I was getting ready. I was going to tell it for TikTok and I was like, it's not going to last long enough to make a TikTok. So I'll just tell it here. Uh, so I'm going to tell it to the vlog. <laughs> okay, so growing up, my mom always had the weirdest advice for finding a man, getting married. Of course, it was always very heterosexual advice because she didn't picture any of her children being homosexual. Um, and if you didn't know, I'm very bisexual. I thought I was a lesbian for a long time. Actually, I was a lesbian and then I discovered I'm bisexual this summer. Um, and then I met my boyfriend and happily ever after. <laughs> Not happily ever after. There's been ups and downs. Not in our relationship, just in life, you know. I was gonna say, if you can't tell, I haven't taken my ADD meds today and my brain is all over the place and I have barely talked to anyone. So the focus to talk to y'all is extreme right now. My mom always said, Elizabeth, you enjoy showing off the facts that you know way too much. If you want to attract a man, you've got to stop acting so smart about it because men don't like a woman who's smarter than them and who talks about being smarter than them all the time in ways that make them feel that they're not as smart as her. 
that was my warning for my mom. But the funny thing is though, is I'm dating someone who is leagues smarter than me in different subject matters. Not about history or current events because that's my like cup of tea. Not about writing because that's also my cup of tea. Not about books, but about things that I could never be or things that I choose not to be uh, expert subject matter on. He has a triple masters in economics, philosophy, and Mandarin. And he picks up languages much easier than I can. I feel like I've been studying French for five years and I still barely understand it on a conversational level. And he is <laughs> not like that way. He can hear a language and I feel like he can start speaking it very quickly. Anyway, I just find that a fascinating little thing is my mom was always like, you will not be able to find a man because you're gonna struggle. You have to act dumber. You have to act less smart than you are. And here I am dating someone who I never have to act less smart than I am and who is absolutely brilliant at things that I do not care or am not brilliant at, like economics and philosophy and Mandarin. Um, so yeah, sometimes your mom is wrong and it's perfectly okay to be brilliant at the things that you love because you'll find someone who has a triple masters in subject matters that you are not well versed in at all. I made my boyfriend a burr basket, except it's in the Trader Joe's bag not a basket. He's been out of the country for three weeks. I'm gonna see him tonight for the very first time in three weeks and I thought he needs something to help him kickstart the holiday spirit because his apartment has nothing Christmassy because he's been out of the country for three weeks. Anyway, here we go. So the theme was let's help you get started for Christmas, like kickstart your Christmas spirit. I went all over Trader Joe's Target everywhere for these items. There's two items, hot cocoa bombs, they're mostly for me because he's not gonna drink both of these, kitchen towels. So I think this is a cute little accessory that will make his kitchen pop with some Christmas spirit. It says Feliz Navidad because he was in Mexico for three weeks so I thought I will remind him of his trip and also give him some Christmas spirit. This is because I am cheap and I need a Kleenex so I bought a backpack of four Kleenex and they were Christmas themed and I, he like we both have dogs and these well no these aren't dogs they're reindeer. I thought they were dogs dressed some of them I think are dogs dressed- yeah, there is a dog in here. There is a dog in here. There, there's a dog in here. There are also reindeer, so I'm not wrong. Anyway, because I'm a cheap person. <laughs> I'm not cheap. I'm just like economical, um, but I'm dating an economist, so, you know. Anyway, I bought myself Kleenex and I bought a Christmas pack of Kleenex and I thought, oh, I'm gonna give him one of these Christmas slippers. Now, I did have to guess his shoe size, but I put them on and they feel like when I accidentally well, I intentionally put on his slippers to take our dogs for a walk sometimes. And these feel about the size of his slippers, so they're a little reindeer. I think they're so cute. I think he's gonna really like them. Pencil and Time, it's a candle. Oh, it, it smells like the holidays. Also, I got this stuff so long ago. It's been three weeks since he's been gone. I got this like the first week he was gone and then I just started adding to the bag. So this was one of the first things I got. So it's been a while. I got this from Target for anyone asking. And then a Trader Joe's find. It's a spicy snacking mix. He's not a sweets person, so I didn't want, I like would love to make homemade brownies and him enjoy them, but that's just not his thing. And these are things I can't make at home, but I can get them from Trader Joe's. Is this the holidays? It's red, it's the holidays. So anyway, this bag is holiday decor, so I can reuse it. Anyway, let me know. <laughs> let me know what you think and well actually I don't know if I care what you think because I'm gonna give it to him regardless but <laughs> let me know if you thought it was a good idea if you think it was a bad idea do not tell me do not tell me if any of these items were a bad idea because I'm happy and I'm sure I'm pretty sure he's gonna be happy too yeah you you brought me back 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 to the mad magic yeah you felt that cold wind and I never thought I'd feel that way again until there was you Bro
there's really nothing better on a Saturday in Jacksonville than to walk around Avondale, which is a very historic, cute little neighborhood, which is on the opposite side of the river from where I live, but it's where my boyfriend lives. And I love all the Christmassy things in this neighborhood. I took my boyfriend's dog on a walk and I got an eggnog latte and French toast. The eggnog latte is not my favorite, I discovered when it comes to seasonal flavors, but that's okay, the French toast more than made up for it. I just really love all the Christmassy stuff in Avondale. After a very chill morning, we went out golfing and I did not hit the golf balls that much because we didn't realize how much more it would cost to let me play golf, So, and I didn't have any golf clubs. So I didn't play golf, but I got to watch my boyfriend play golf, and it was a very chill weekend. Highly recommend. Anyway, that is all for Vlogmas for these, for this five. Maybe it's only four and a half days of Vlogmas. I'm not really sure. Kind of lost track, but I'll be back with a full week of Vlogmas coming up, hopefully, and I hope, I hope you enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for many more holiday vlogs.